Hey there, on this video I'm going to show you how to create this design in Adobe Illustrator. So I came across a nice effect created by Lada Lily on YouTube and I thought it would be nice to create this effect combined with a lettering. First we're going to create a custom lettering on the iPad Pro using Procreate so we can use on the design later. The brush I'm using is a solid brush and is available on the link in the description. So now we can export the lettering file and go to Illustrator. To begin we create a new document 2000 by 1200 pixels. So first we can create a background by taking the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on the size of the canvas. Then I would like to add a radial gradient so I will add a gradient. I will select the radial and then I would like to change the color so I double click on the circle here then I select to have RGB because I want to have colors I can change the values here so I can create a color but I have already saved on swatches so I will use my colors for the outer color I will use a dark blue And for the inner color I will use a dark green. Now I'm going to lock the background because I will not edit it anymore. And I'm going to create this wavy effect. So first thing I'm going to take the line tool by click and hold on the rectangle and select the line tool. I will create a line at the top from one corner to the other and I'm going to add just two point white stroke like that then I select the line I'm going to effect distort and transform and then transform so I would like to create multiple lines horizontally here so I will go to vertical and change it to 15 and then I will go to copies and I will add the number of copies I would like here I will add something like 80 I click OK now with a line selected and I'm talking about this line because the rest is part of the effect if I change this first line all of the others change So yeah, with the first line selected, I'm going to Object, Envelope Distort, and Make with Mesh. I will use only one row and one column. Now I'm going to take the Direct Selection tool, I click on this anchor point, and if you notice here is the handle of this anchor point. So I click on that, I'm holding also the Shift, and I'm taking it to the top. I do the same on the other anchor point here, so I click, I can see here the dot of the handle, I click, I also hold shift and I'm taking at the top, like that. Now I select the two anchor points at the top, I click and drag it down, so I also click shift to make it straight and I leave it about in the middle. Now I'm going to add some waves. So I'm going to take the mesh tool. I can find it here by holding on the gradient tool and it's here. And I'm going to divide the lines by three. So one, two, like three parts. And I will do the same vertically by adding four more anchor points. It is important to click on the existing line, like that. So now I'm going to take the direct selection tool and I will edit the anchor points. Now 
Now that we have edited the anchor points, we need to convert the object in multiple lines. Because at the moment it is only one line, but what we see is actually the effect. So we're taking the selection tool, we have the object selected and we go to object, expand. We make sure we have both selected and we click OK. Now the object is created by multiple lines. At the moment their color is white, so we're going to change it and would like to add a gradient, but we're going to edit the colors. So we double click on this color and I will choose the blue, like a light blue, and for the other color I will choose a green. Also we select the linear gradient here and I will change the angle to 90 degrees. Now it's time to insert the custom lettering. I added to the artboard and because we need it to be vector, we're going to the image trace and click on black and white. However, we don't need the white, so we're going to click on ignore white. Now we can click expand and we have it in vector. I'm going to change the color to white. So now I would like to hide some parts of the lettering behind the waves and create some shadows. In order to do that I will use Photoshop. Ok, I have copied them into Photoshop in three different layers. One is the background, one is the waves and one is the lettering. So I will select the lettering layer and I will add a mask. On this mask I'm going to hide the parts I will not need from the lettering. So I'm taking the pen tool and I'm creating a shape of the area I would like to hide. What I do is actually following the shape of the wave. Then I right click, fill path and fill with black color. Now it's hidden. I click delete to delete the path. I will do the same on all the other letters I need to hide. By the way, I would like to separate the underline and put it on another layer. So I will rasterize this layer. And then with the lasso tool, I will select the underline right click layer via cut so this is a new layer now I did that because I would like to move it and have it behind the word so I will add the mask to it Ok, so now I would like to add some shadows. I will start with the underline, I will put it under the lettering. I will create a clipping mask, so a new layer, right click, create a clipping mask. I will select the brush tool, I will take a soft brush. And I will take the black color and I will draw the shadow like it is behind the waves and behind the lettering. Now we're going to do the same on the lettering layer. So I will add a new layer that will make it a clipping mask. So actually whatever I will draw here, it will be only visible on the lettering parts. In addition, I'm going to add some more shadows in the letters to give some depth and make them look like a bit 3D.
So I created the path and then I right click and this time I make it a selection. Okay. Then I'm taking the brush tool by pressing the letter B on the keyboard and I start to draw the shadow. One last part is to add some shadows from the letters to the waves. Also, we can stylize the background by adding some splashes. So we create a new layer, we change the brush to a splash brush. And this is how we created this effect combined with the custom lettering. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Till next time, like, share and subscribe, bye.